Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys, we are just doing a simple clean up this kitchen with us because uh, we just had a few things that needed done. So the kids and I jumped in and decided to give the kitchen a once over. Um, sister's working on dishes and Jackson is helping me. That one uh, air fryer that we just put on the fridge, we are actually gifting that to a young lady in our church. She just moved into a new apartment and does not have one. And so we just thought we would gift her that one since we had another one. And we actually gave away one on Saturday to an old, uh, older friend of ours who just wanted to try one out. We had three of them. So we found homes for two. She was... Um, the little lovely from church was sick on Sunday, so we did not have a chance to give it to her. We will take it next week. So I just wanted it off the counter so that we could, um, so that I'm, I, I'm not a big stuff on the counter person. And um, Jackson's making a, some brownies and sister is working on dishes. Sister prefers to do the dishes while Jackson prefers to do the cooking. And mom, of course, is trying to help Jackson with his, um, kitchen cleaning habits and i'm just gonna give it a little dance move a little dance move and he's like really mom is there something wrong with my parent <laughs> my children really indulge me and i'm thankful for them so yeah we um the kitchen is the hub of our home it's where we all tend to be together is in our kitchen um and we just enjoy one another we're just having a little conversation and I'm, of course, hitting full dance moves, and it's all great, right? Um, I think you got to learn how to dance even when it's raining, right? Somebody made a quote, don't wait for the storm, learn to dance in the rain. So, or don't wait for the storm is over, learn to dance in the rain. So, I'm dancing. So, yep, lots of people think I don't ever go through anything. I don't really share a ton. And then I honestly live a life that's just really so drama free but I had a little bit of a situation happen earlier during this day and um, it really could have drained me had I let it but I just chose to praise the Lord and, and keep on moving with life and I keep getting in the kids way so I'm moving out of their way don't let me hinder your clean and blow but please please <laughs> so um, I'm getting ready to actually put on some I have some chickens from when my friend came over she only eats the breast meat of the chicken, so she usually brings me the rest of the, the thighs, the legs, the wings, and we will either pick all of that off or we will make a, a broth. And so I'm gonna do a broth today. So sister brought me the big roaster so that I would have that to get the broth started. Okay, y'all, so this is gonna be fun. Um, this is a Hope Garden. They reached out to us and asked us if they could send us an indoor uh, garden planter. And we were so excited to be able to get this. Here's why. Uh, Jackson loves to cook. And so um, it's a little bit harder doing the, during the fall winter season to have like fresh herbs and stuff. So what we're gonna try to do is set this up in the kitchen the kitchen is slowly becoming Jackson's domain, which is perfectly fine. Mom has had the kitchen quite long enough. And so we're going to pull this out of the box and see what we can plant so that Jackson can have his fresh herbs during the all year season, right? Like I said, we did not, I didn't produce enough this year for me to um, uh, dry any and, and preserve it. I'm hoping for that next year. With gardening, it is just um, trial and error for us at this point until we get it down so that it works for our family. But Jackson is a, he loves, loves, loves to cook. And he is a fresh herb person. Um, if he had fresh herbs, he would use them all the time. So we're gonna set this up for him and see what happens, right? We're gonna see what we can grow. I'm gonna get this out the box. Oh, look how cute. It's cool. But want it but i think this is going to be good it has those lights that's going to help with um the growing and so i'm not going to do i don't think i'm going to do flowers i think i'm just going to do herbs so let me get this out the box and share with you guys its features 
All right, you guys, so this is a Hope Garden. This is their 12 pod intelligent planter. And I'm excited to see what is in here. There will be a link in the description box below for anybody that is interested in checking this out. So it has these on the top. And I'll go through what these mean in just a little bit. It's plastic, which is good. Jackson tends to not, oh, it's so cute. It looks like a little tuxedo. <laughs> it looks like a little tuxedo. Let me pull this out so I can show you guys. Now this has got to be the cutest thing I have ever seen. This is a Hope Garden, their 12 pod intelligent planter. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And it comes with everything you need to do a small in-home kind of a uh, mini garden. It starts with um, planting of your seeds, then goes into germination. It also talks uh, to you about pruning and then harvesting. So we're going to put together this 12-pod um, intelligent planter. And we're using this for Jackson because Jackson likes to do a lot of cooking. So we're taking our um, sponges and we're going to soak these sponges in water. These are what we're gonna put our seeds in. It does recommend that you use seasonal seeds. Uh, we are in our winter season. And so we are taking a chance to plant some herbs hopefully with an inside um, situation, it's warm inside, um, our seeds will germinate and sprout. It is too cold to plant um, herbs outside. So what we're doing now is we're gonna take the soak sponges and we're going to put them in what they call the baskets. So there are 12 of these little baskets and we're just gonna sit them inside of the intelligent garden and then you're going to see me in just a minute pull out the soak sponges and we're going to drop one per basket what we're going to do after that is we're going to begin to take our seeds we did four different seeds basil okay we did dill parsley cilantro and then we rounded it out with some basil so we had 12 baskets we did three baskets of each of those things so three basil three dill three cilantro and three parsley so i had some seed i got them from amazon and uh, the basil seeds were so small we used a tweezer to to get them into the um, sponges so there's a little hole inside of the sponge and we just put the seeds down inside of the sponge. So on the other side, you see Jackson working. This is Jackson's little garden. So Jackson needed to get involved and help mom. And so he's doing that. I always like to show things that even a 14 year old could do, right? This is something that homeschool kids could use if you're a homeschooling family. This is uh, something that you could do just as an activity in your home if you wanted to try a small little mini garden. And so we're taking these little stickers and we're gonna put them on the top of the basket. This is gonna help with algae growth or mold growth. They come inside of your packet as well. And so we're just sticking them on top. If you notice, there's a little hole in the middle that actually goes over top of the hole where the um, seeds drop into the sponge and so once your seeds germinate and begin to sprout they should sprout up through the little hole so that's what jackson and i are doing they also had the little um sticks that you could tell right on to say what was in your uh baskets and so i just did four because we did three of each thing and so we have basil we have dill we have cilantro and we have parsley. And so I just wanted to make sure that um, I marked those very clearly so that we would know which three were which. And then you need to fill up your garden with four liters of water. And on the front, if you can tell, it has little measuring lines. So you'll know when you need to refill your 
water right and then uh so that cup wasn't going to do it quick enough so i just got a funnel and you stick it down there's a little um in uh inside where you can pour the water that's right on top of the um planter and it that's a little uh has a little like a little door you can close the door open it to add in more water and so i just began to slowly fill the water tank now it did say um in the instructions to avoid um entanglements with the pump because inside of there there's a pump to make sure you trim your roots when your plants start to grow and what i put behind it is the plant food once your plants germinate you have instructions on nutrients to add into your water as well as those little domes all right you guys so here i am i am going to be putting in those chicken carcasses again she only eats the breasts <laughs> she goes to costco and she'll buy a couple of chickens but she only eats the breasts she throws them in the freezer and then she'll bring them over on a saturday if she's coming over to hang out with us for saturday suppers and so i just put a little bit of onion in there with the chickens we're going to end up putting four chicken carcasses in there alana is going to be pulling off some of the meat you'll see her these were frozen previously in her freezer and she just forgot to bring them the last time she came so she brought them for us this time we are very fortunate to be able to have that she does not have to bring anything when she comes to our house we are perfectly happy to provide the meal but she likes to bring the chicken and so here you're noticing that alana is picking some of the chicken meat off from the one we had for this evening and we're going to turn that into chicken salad but what we are going to do with the remainder of that chicken is throw it into the uh, pan and once it's done the broth is done we're going to see what chicken we can peel off and we're then going to use that in uh, soups or you know whatever we need to use chicken for we don't want to just get rid of the chicken but we're not going to can it in the stock so we are going to can the stock but i did want to try to get as much chicken off the bones as i was able to i don't mind if it's a little softer um, sometimes we we may even um, I know Jackson made some chicken egg rolls the other night and they were very good so we talked about whatever chicken we could get off from there we just throw into the um, mixture for the chicken egg rolls and I think everybody was okay with that we are going to put those in the air fryer to cut down a little bit on the grease content but I think it's going to be okay all right y'all so it's the next morning and this broth has been cooking. These, uh, we put three chickens in there. Onions, and that's all we put. We didn't do any seasonings. So I'm gonna let this cook probably for another 24 hours. And then I'm gonna pick all the meat off the bones. We'll use that in soups, whatever we're gonna do. Probably some soups or something. And then I am going to um, strain this broth and I'm gonna can this. So I gotta make sure I have enough jars to can this, but I'm gonna try my first batch of canned stock. And so, uh, water bath can, so I need to look that up. I don't know if I can water bath can stock. I'm gonna check, check that out. But that's what I'm planning to do. So this looks very good. Um, it, smells, um, it smells amazing in my house and I'm loving it. I'm keeping it on 200 and I'm just gonna let it go for another 24 hours. Alrighty, you guys, so the broth is still brothing looks very rich in color the, that chicken is doing what it's supposed to do has about 12 more hours ignore that lipstick y'all had some really dead skin on there dry skin and it is coming off okay so thank you so much to the company for sending us a hope garden we're going to give it a whirl, right? So we planted dill, parsley, cilantro, and basil. We're gonna see how that comes up. Those are not traditional fall winter crops, but we didn't have a lot that was small enough for this particular um, system. We have winter squash. Can't put a winter squash in there, right? Um, I'm gonna do better at trying to, to get some more seeds so I can have a good collection. Um, gardening for me is just, um, 
gardening is just a hobby, right? So I'm learning it as I go. I'm prayerful that next next season will be a much better season. I went out and picked some beans, some some peas, some runner beans. But I think I left them out there too long because I've gotten some. Uh, and I don't think they're being watered good. So I got to work on my watering system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these out. I didn't get a ton and I'm just going to dry these seeds out to resave for planting next year instead of just saying, oh, well, that's scrapped or whatever or trying to eat them. So I'm just going to pop them out, dry them out. I'm drying out some delicata squash seeds as well. And so these have about another day or two that I'll leave them out and then I will uh, package these up. Just, you know, prepping for next season. I'm hopeful to do much better next season. Y'all pray for me. I really want to do well at gardening. We did okay this year, but uh, we could do better. Anywho, there it is. There'll be a link to this particular item down in the description box below if anybody is interested. Uh, we do want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm going to film the canning of the broth separately. So there'll be another canning video coming. I got to make sure I have enough jars. So anywho, there it is, you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.